What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So let's start this video with the official statement made by Italy Pro Champion Hunter Labrada. So since everyone has been judging Hunter's physique based on what we saw in the live stream or even those high definition pictures that came out, it seemed like Hunter was lacking a lot of detail. So I must say these pictures and videos that were taken through a phone, they must be brought up to the bodybuilding community as well because this just goes to show us how misleading the live stream and the HD pictures can be. Now I'm sure Hunter must have looked a lot harder and drier, especially in person, and he must have had a lot more detail. But still, I have to say these are the best pictures and the videos came from Italy Pro so far. And when there's a coach like Patrick Tour, who is always so big on conditioning, if he was so impressed with Hunter's look, then I have to say he must have looked absolutely insane in person. So these comparison videos of Hunter versus Presti, that also kills all the doubts that people were saying that Presti should have won. Because as I said after the prejudging of this year, that Hunter's sheer size was just on a whole different level. And now you guys can see that in these videos. Now the one thing that Hunter needs to improve, that is his midsection. His first two shots, the front double biceps and the front lat spread, they are gonna become so damn impressive. If somehow he manages to show those abs, the same way he showed his abs in that side tricep pose. Now that being said, we still have four more weeks to go till this year's Miss Olympia. And I think it is gonna be a big mistake underestimating Hunter based on his look which people saw on the live stream. Next up is the latest physique update from the legend, the seven times Miss Olympia Phil Heat. So how dominant was Phil in his prime? He was dominant up to a point where it became boring for the fans because everyone just already knew that if Phil Heat is on, if he is on his A game, Everyone else is just fighting for the second spot. And the thing is, that is why he was able to stay on the top for seven consecutive years. Just think about it this way. How many hands the Olympia title has changed since Phil Heath retired? We have seen five different Miss Olympias in the last six years. And even right now, as we head into this year's Miss Olympia, there is no guarantee that this is one guy's show. In fact, there are like four guys who can walk away with that Olympia title. That is how crazy the competition is right now. So those are some crazy looking quads that Phil has at the age of 44. So Phil Heath never had those feathered or slighted quads like Jay Cutler in his professional career. But they were absolutely massive and they had all the detail in the world. I mean they were so damn separated and he had all the details that were necessary. Just look at it this way. He was beating guys like Big Romy, someone who had arguably the biggest legs in bodybuilding as well as Sean Roden, he too had very impressive set of wheels. So the irony is that Phil Heath revealed in the comment section that he doesn't even train his legs anymore. But still he is holding on to that crazy amount of size, which is absolutely insane. So those quads aren't only big, they are insanely shredded as well. And really props to one of the most complete bodybuilders this sport has ever seen. Truly a living legend. Next up is the 4 weeks out physique update from Martin Fitzwater. So these next few weeks, they are going to be all about bringing out every little fine detail. So I'm not going to lie, when Martin guest posed at 8 weeks out of this year's Miss Olympia, he kind of looked a little behind. And that is why the stage lighting can make one hell of a difference, making you look very soft and watery than you actually are. So Martin was in a great shape even at 8 weeks out. And now he is in an even better shape. He is in a great spot to go for that final push for this year's Miss Olympia which by the way is gonna be his Olympia debut. So as Hal Mannion pointed out after this year's New York Pro, that he expects Martin to be right up there pushing some of these big names of the industry. And that observation was based on how great Martin looked at this year's New York Pro against Nick Walker. And this time the man is gonna be a few pounds heavier. And if he can't bring that same conditioning, that same dryness, or maybe something even better than that, he is gonna be so damn dangerous. Now, although Martin isn't gonna be as thick as the likes of Nick Walker or Hunter Labrada, those guys will definitely outmuscle him for sure. But Martin's superiority in terms of his shape, his aesthetics, the way this guy flows, that is also gonna be a factor where Martin can expose some of these big names. So I for one think that Martin flows extremely damn well, especially in some of the front shots, like the front relaxed and the front double biceps, which by the way are the first two poses which the judges ask you to hit. And this is where you can make a very solid first impression. 
you better believe that I've been working all year, crossing every T, dotting every I. I've been not just in the gym training, not just on the diet. So the winning champ Derek Lansford's interview that finally came out on the NPC News online. And yes, Derek was there to pose for Jim Mannion to get some pointers on how he looks at four and a half weeks out of this year's Miss Olympia. And this is the statement right here that his fans want to hear. Second to first last year, crazy improvements. And I don't see why I can't do the same thing this year. And I'm you know, I know we're gonna do some posing here in a minute and I'm excited to, to, to pose down. And I think, uh, once, you know, these next four and a half weeks roll by, we get to Las Vegas, we get to Olympia. I think people will see all that hard work come to fruition. All the hard work that he put in throughout this year, not just in the prep phase, in the off season as well, that is going to reveal itself once he steps on the Olympia stage in four weeks time. And Derek seems extremely confident that based on the improvements that he was able to make from 2023 to 2024, he is going to repeat. And he is going to be a two times Miss Olympia next month. So there was a huge split among the fans after the Olympia last year on who should have won. And not just the fans, among the bodybuilding experts as well. So if Derek is successfully able to defend his title this year, that will solidify him as the undisputed champion. So we have heard this statement so many times that shows our one from the back. Although that hasn't been the case in the last few years. But in Derek's case, that is a huge factor in him being Miss Olympia. Imagine Derek was just a little bit softer from the back. He would have lost to Hadi Chopin last year. But he is hard as a rock. And he has that granite look from the back. Especially his conditioning at the finals. That was so immaculate. And that is what sealed the deal for Derek. So I for one expect him to be a lot bigger. And have a lot more muscle maturity and density this time. And I think he is gonna be very very hard to beat. But on the social media, on the traveling, on the business, on the gym, on the family, on the friends, I mean, the, 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 everything that we've been doing all year is to come back once again significantly improved. Next up is the physique update from Michael Depo. So the man is loving his time out there in Kuwait. They were spotted trading with Ahmed Ashkenani, one of the top pros of the 212. So I don't think I have ever seen Michael Depo looking so big. At four weeks out of any show that he has done. And it isn't just the size for him. He looks very round and very detailed. So this man is known to have the most straight physique at the Olympia for the last two years. And that is one of the main reasons why he is top six in the world. And the thing is, Michael just cannot afford to compromise on his conditioning and sharpness for a bit more fullness. Because all the guys who placed ahead of him last year, they all have better shapes. They all have superior statics. They are all more classic than Michael. And the thing is, Michael makes up for that with his immaculate conditioning. Because the level of detail and shreds that he is able to bring, no one else can do that. So for anyone out there who is wondering, is it easy for Michael to get this shredded? It's absolutely not. He goes on very low carbs for weeks on end, with very little refeeds. And that is how he gets that desired look. Even right now, he has been under 100 grams of carbs for almost two weeks now. So there are some great guys in this year's Mr. Olympia lineup. They are going to be making their Olympia debuts, trying to get in those top 8 spots. But there is one guy, Taron Sofin, who was 5th last year, who is going to be missing. So it is going to be really interesting to see what the final package of Michael Double looks like and whether he can repeat that 6th place performance again. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.